Hey, Wilfredo, good evening. Sorry. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> What's up? Can hear you. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I feel so stressful. Good evening, teacher. Why are you so stressed? I, I was trying to, to do the homework, but I, I don't know what happened because I tried to text as an example, but I don't know. What but... do you mean? And it wasn't taking your answer, right? What? Uh, let me see the homework number. Mm, let me see. Yeah, I, I saw your message, but were you oh, able okay. to were you able to make it? Excuse me. Did you make it? No. No. Did you still have yes. problems with it? Yes. And the, okay. And the... Let's see. That was one point five. Let's see if I Let's... Uh huh. Did you see the the the, the message? The message, yeah, I, I saw it. Yep. But I don't know. Uh, I tried to text like uh, an example, but I, I I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I just access, there we go. So just module two. Let's go to unit one. We're already on unit two, basically. Uh, it's followed by Jaren's exercise 1.5. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, it's a short answer, actually. Let's see. It should be a very short answer. Appreciate having. Just the word having. Small letters. I mean, lowercase. Lowercase. No periods. No dots. Making, hiring, working, take, talking. You just need to add the verb with ing, and that's all. And having appreciate, I appreciate having the company work. Yeah, all you have to do is in that blank space, just type having instead of have, just having. Yes, that's it. No spaces, no nothing. Then making, then hiring, working, talking, and that's it. Uh -huh. Let, let me, I'm going to try it after class. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. I'm going to try it or... Sure, sure. It's, it's, it's just that sometimes I know we expect a long answer, you know, but in some exams, all you have to do in that example is just take the verb out of the parentheses and just put it with ing, that's all. Okay, I'm going to try to Thank Sure, you. sure. Great, great, great. We are eight. I'm just making some time for the others. If you want, you may start a conversation as I expect in every class, in every class for you to do it.
Okay, so you don't want to talk. Let's talk about a simple question just to um, attack the one of the areas of improvement that we have, which is the simple past. Since I like to talk about my life with you. <laughs> okay, a simple question. What did you do during the weekend? You know, I had a great weekend actually. Um, on Saturday, after working, I, I left work very early. I left, um, typically on Saturdays, I work until 11.30 a.m. But last Saturday, I worked until 9.30 because I had a medical appointment for this thing on my wrist, this little thing on my wrist. It's tunnel carpiano, I guess, something like that. The thing is that I had an x-ray at ease and I went there. It took me like 10 minutes. That's it. Just 10 minutes. I said, I was amazing. So then I came back home. Well, no, I went to cut my hair. And then in the afternoon, we, we, we went to a wedding. We went to a wedding at Basilica de Guadalupe. I had never been to a wedding in that, in that, um, in that church. It was amazing. I mean, it's beautiful. It's small and the acoustic was not good. That's for sure. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a, you know, I sing for, for church. This time I didn't play the guitar. I was just in the middle of the audience and it was amazing. It was a beautiful wedding. Then we went to the party at this hotel here in Zona Rosa. I can't remember the name. It's uh, some something Monte Carlo or something like that. I can't remember. It's like it, Italian or something, but it was beautiful. It was a beautiful reception with the Star Wars on the background. You know, actually the the the, the broom and and the how do you call the girl? Oh my God! How do you say that? I forgot right now. Mm, it's not husband and wife. There's a plural for that. Hmm. Hey, Google it. Help me. I can't remember, but. The boyfriend and the girlfriend now they were husband and wife right so they were walking with the imperial march from star wars with two star troopers and and darth vader at the front it was amazing <laughs> we danced all night and next day yesterday on sunday we went to komasawa with my wife because it was well today is her birthday so we went to celebrate to komasawa and i truly truly recommend you this place it's a little expensive the food is a little expensive and it's pretty far but it's in Comasagua it's called Brasas Ileñas it's a family business and, and it was delicious it has a great view you know it's, it's, it was amazing it was very uh, foggy it was very foggy but but it was a great experience for the kids they had rabbits or herbs and um and other animals, but it, it was delicious. Then we went to the little town in Komasawa. We had a coffee, and then we come back. We came back to to the house, and tonight we just, you know, we cut the cake, and that's it. Okay, that's me. That's me. So start thinking about your activities on Saturday, teacher. I just slept on Saturday and Sunday. Come on. You're advanced. You have to be very creative. Okay. Start thinking about your weekend activities so you can have a conversation with your classmates. I was just trying to give you an example, but this time I, I really did something on, on the weekend. So <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. I'm going to do the attendance while you think about your weekend activities and I will split you so you can have a conversation really quick with your classmate and then. I will come, I will bring you to the front so you can answer the same question and I will give you feedback about your speech. Okay, let's go. Um, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Welcome. Adriana Stefani Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Yeah. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Viva. 
Present. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Hey, there you are. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Hmm. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Not here right now. Okay, Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandra has been absent a few days. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay. Present, Hello. teacher. Thank you. Please turn on your camera when we do the attendance, if possible. If possible. There we go. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Excellent. So again, the question is very simple. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Hey, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Okay. So let me split you in very small groups. We just have to practice together. Um, let me see one. Only one student, I think, won't connect. So I'll split you in small groups. Let's go. Um, está ocupada, Wendy. Ok, here comes Nelson. Uh, yeah. And the flu. <coughs> I, I am. Uh, it's bad. Bad. Yes. Um, it's the morning. I dream taxi. Okay. The question is like, what do you do in the weekends? What do you do in the weekends, Ada? Oh, my weekends um, it was pretty, pretty, pretty well. Um, on Saturday morning, went went to a valid presentation at the University um, of the El Salvador. Um, Como se dice toda la mañana. All the morning. All the morning. All the morning. Mm -hmm. And the Sunday, uh, I had a meeting with a group of fellow students. With them, you can say that we grew, grew up, grew up together because we were together from first grade tonight right we meet again before to pandemic and from time to time we meet okay. and, and two all all day all day and to the meeting no reunimos 
and meeting with the, the meeting mm -hmm. in, in the nine nine a.m. Uh, uh, to to fifty p.m. Like that. Yes. And all day. Mm, yes. Crazy. And you, you? Adriana, or me? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And the Saturday, in the morning, I went to the shop in the supermarket with my son. And afternoon, uh, we went the the shopping, the electrodomestic. Electrodomestic. Uh, we went a uh, uh, shopping the TV <laughs> and 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 then I watching the the movie my family and Sunday in the morning is a uh, I clean in the house and then uh, I prepare the lunch and then I play in soccer and uh, and <clears throat> and deny uh, my son uh, do you have a homework uh, you finish the clash. And <clears throat> I had you a uh, homework the English. And, and, and then uh, I watch you, watching me. Uh, Adriana Martinez. But my weekend <laughs> on Saturday, um, I was at home all day. And in the afternoon, the Saturday, um, I sleep. <laughs> um, and Sunday, uh, I went to the how do you say in iglesia? I've been complicado on the camarón. Church? 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 Uh -huh. And Sunday uh, in, in the morning, I went to the church. church. And uh, in the afternoon, and then um, I visited um, parents' home. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, with my sister, I cook it, cook it, um, cook it, cook burritos, cook it, 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 cook 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 and now you say cook. So again, cook. 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 Yeah, do you say cook? And then that's it. Cooked. Cooked. You got it. Ah. Yeah, that's the way. Okay. Um a cook. And Tuesday, right? I sleep early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that I rest more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and, and Wednesday also. Too. Yes. Yes. Wednesday was a holiday. 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 Yes, it was a good. Um, day off. <laughs> mm 
That's it. You're done. Are you done? The three of you spoke. Sorry, guys, did you speak? The three of you already? Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Give me just a minute and we will go back. Support um group of the girls. I'm very... For the study, for the yeah. But I last... was very busy. I it was very tired, but in my opinion, it was very productive weekend. I am happy. Okay. I am happy with the results. Very, it was a very productive weekend. It was very productive uh, weekend. Yes. A very. It was a very productive weekend. You got it. Yes. Yes. Both. Um, we have a very productive weekend, teacher. New look, teacher. Yeah, I had to get a I had to get a haircut. It was time. Okay, yeah. so how, how are you doing? Are you done? Yes, we completed the activity, teacher. Awesome. Um, what, what about yesterday? What did you do? Ana Selmi, did you hear me? Yeah. Yesterday. Yes? Yesterday because... in the morning, uh, my family and me, we, we had um, breakfast, breakfast in the baby shower, breakfast. <laughs> in the... ah, great. Yes, it was great. <laughs> but the, the plates during the event, the, the level of the com, complexion, com, no, complexity. Yeah, the complexion, the complexity, complexion. the complexity high, of what? High, high complexion, the activity of the, <laughs> in the baby showers. <laughs> in my time, uh -huh. it was the other type of activities between but, the uh -huh. uh, the dynamics they run on the baby yes, showers the yes, the yes nowadays nowadays you have a lot of options and they're very fun it's just that you find ideas on the internet before there were yeah. not, even, not even dynamics uh, maybe at least the one with the paper roll yes. to, to measure the belly Mm, yes, <laughs> but only the the no with the how do you say rule or how do you say cinta? Or, no, oh, yeah, with only, the cord, with the cord. No, no, only the perception, <laughs> the perception. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but a lot of trivias. Yeah, that, that's 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 good too. You know, my wife is a specialist on that. Every time there is a baby shower, <laughs> they contact her and, and she goes like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll bring some activities for you. Don't worry. Yeah. And because she has a lot of experience, I mean, with her friends and everything. The thing is that um, last time uh, she did this activity where you couldn't cross your leg or your arms. If you crossed <laughs> your leg or your arms and somebody else got you crossing your legs or your arms they could take away your your necklace i mean at the beginning she she gives you a mm -hmm. necklace with a ring pop you know a, a candy so yeah. if you collect the more or the most uh ring, ring pops you get a prize and so there was a a friend of us you know always the whole the whole baby shower <laughs> oh you cross the legs okay give me your ring pop oh okay and like that no. the whole baby shower and, she, and he won at the end okay they so, are very creative teachers. creative creative yes creative yes, yes very creative that is true yeah. that is true. It was go, funny yeah yeah nowadays i mean 
every party could be very entertaining if you dedicate some time to the dynamics. That's the most interesting part. It's not longer drinking or listening or dancing, you know, it's just the dynamics. That's very fun. Okay, let's go back. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you, Wilfredo, <laughs> thank you. for sharing your... Hey, Gabi, are you back? Hi, teacher. Good. I have problems with my computer, so I connected by my cell phone. Through your cell phone and your computer, I guess. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing double. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Let's just wait a little bit. <laughs> okay you know guys El Salvador is becoming a target for for fraud just if you didn't know I want to tell you be careful be careful if you use your credit card, your debit card, or even your personal information on the internet, always encrypt your email, you know, or make sure, make sure that you are sending your information to, um, to a real person. I don't know. Make sure that what you're using is a valid website because fraudsters, fraudsters, you know, fraudsters are targeting they are targeting El Salvador there's a lot of ways to hack your email to hack your accounts and it's very sad very sad don't trust don't trust on any promotions on the internet don't trust that's my advice okay just be careful I don't know how they do that honestly but man it's unbelievable when it happens. Okay, so let's start. Um, Mada Patricia, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue, I love Gabriela's shirt, blouse, I'm sorry, sweater. And now she lost the internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> Gabi, can you hear me? Oh, no, Gabriel is having problems with her internet connection. I'm in black. Let me see who else is in blue here. Okay, what's your second? Oh, no, there she is. Gabi, can you hear me? Hi. Okay. Yes. <laughs> hopefully, Hi. hopefully you, you don't get frozen. So let's go with Gabriela, and then Gabriela will select somebody else, okay? So, Gabi, whenever you're ready, uh, tell us, what did you do last weekend? If you want, you can turn off your video, Gabriela, to help the bandwidth. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yep. Uh, what is the question? Sorry. <laughs> Same question. Same question. What do you do last weekend? Ah, okay. Uh, well, on Saturday, I went to a Bamboo City Center because they were opening Christmas season. 
So there was a person dressed like a San, Santa, Santa Claus. <laughs> and they gave a um, hot chocolate and there were fireworks also. So um, it was nice. <laughs> and yesterday, Sunday, uh, I stayed at home <laughs> and I only went to church at the at the end of the of the afternoon and that's it <laughs> okay wow hey that was very good actually thank you gabriela at the end i i only went to church at the end of the afternoon at the end of the afternoon yeah, I have no feedback for you. Great job, Gabriela. No mistakes at all. Great job. Okay. <laughs> Can you select somebody else? Um, I I can see the the other. <laughs> you cannot see the others. Hey, you know what? No, yeah, sorry. I just said I stayed at home. I stayed at home. Sounds better if you say I stayed home. I stayed home. Okay. Without the, the proposition, sounds better. Okay. Let's see who is next. If you see anybody falling asleep, that will be great. Oh, Gabby, I think you turned off your microphone. This will be difficult. Hi. <laughs> okay, that's better. Okay. So, who's next? Um, let me see. Um, Anna Selmi. Anna Selmi. Okay, Anna Selmi. What did you do last weekend? Um, my weekend was. Um, very productive teacher because during the last Saturday I completed um, two tests um, they were a long test teacher but um, in uh, at the afternoon um, I was with my mom and um, I shared her uh, for shopping. Um, yes, in the last, in yesterday teacher, uh, my husband, my son and, and me, we wear a, a baby shower. A, we were invited for ex student. A, a, it was um, very. It was a funny time for for us. And in the afternoon, uh, I help uh, to my twin sister with um, organization her classes teacher, but it was very tired for me. Um, but in general, my weekend was very productive. Thank for listening. <laughs> <laughs> that simple, okay. Okay, man, you were doing awesome. Let's see. Some some words, if you don't say the um, the final sound, they are not properly pronounced. 
or sound like singular. For example, you said um, they were long test. They were long tests. 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 It's not easy. It's, it's, that's difficult. Yes, because it's plural. Yes, tests. Yeah, they were long tests. They tests. were long tests. 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 Mm -hmm. tests. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like the other the other word asks asks she asks Access. no 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 she always asks me she always asks me about she always asks me about asks 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 she always asks it's not easy asks tests asks. Uh, what was the other word who who, who was I helping uh, Adriana I think I, I gave her another oh the past of cook cook yes cook. Uh -huh. so you have the base form is cook Cook. 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 cook here okay the k cook. Cook. cook now to make the past you just say cook 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 so cooked 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 and so on now plurals of some words that end with with two i don't know or one um consonant sound they're more difficult like test test tests listen test. test test tests test so we have to practice that tests yeah, everybody sure. everybody okay now you said something else at the afternoon hmm. at the afternoon what it's is the right. right no what what is the right preposition in the afternoon in the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening, but in the afternoon. At night, at midnight, at noon. Okay. Okay. Then you said I was with my mom and I shared her for shopping. I shared her for shopping. I I shared her. with her. Oh, I shared with her. Yes, I shared with her and we when? went shopping shopping we went shopping yeah, yeah that makes more sense okay um one of your friends one of your classmate one of your classmates was saying something similar uh the saturday in the morning i went to the shopping we went shopping the tv sometimes we try to use the verb shop as a verb mm. Yeah, you can do that, but without the ing. Uh, we usually shop at that store. Let's go shop something at the store. Okay, I shop at Siman all the time. I shop at Siman all the time. Okay. Okay, I go shopping to Siman all the time. That's different. To go shopping, that's different. Okay, then let's go buy something more specific. Yes. Yes, buy, buy more specific okay mm -hmm. um and yes and yesterday my husband oh my husband my son and me my and then you husband. said we were in the baby shower so that we was not necessary because you said yeah uh, my son my, my husband my son and me <laughs> only, were only for clarification <laughs> oh, just to oh you did it right i know you did it right <laughs> only for clarification uh, remember this was an area of improvement that i had for you today for ing to verb okay to buy for buying yeah just think about it that way okay let's see we were invited by ex students or by an ex student we were invited by an ex-student. It was a funny time for us in the afternoon. I had this, I got lost. I had to my twin sister. I okay. think you, you were saying I had, right? I had it. Yeah. We had it. I had it. Yeah, like did he hear said, right? We had it to my twin sisters. Um And we helped her organizing because you said which organization her clothes, 
her clothes or in plural her clothes. Clothes, plural, cloth, singular. But be careful, guys. No. Cloth is un trapito, un trapo, right? Cloth. Clothes is many trapos, many, a lot of clothes. Okay, <laughs> clothes. And that's it. Great job. Just one more person. Ana Selmi, ojo todos. Eh? Eh, es muy importante este ejercicio. Tienen que volver al video, revisar el momento en el que ustedes hablan. Tal vez un poco de lo que yo digo, pero es muy importante más que ustedes se critiquen a ustedes mismos y digan, uy, ¿qué dije? No. O lo contrario, ¿eh? uy, qué gringo me oigo. Ok, who's next? Ana Selmi. Carlita, teacher. Of course. Mrs. Vasquez. Okay. Good evening. My my last week was a very busy because during the morning uh, I did work in and during afternoon I went to Cacao Pera. Uh, I was five hours in the traffic because the traffic was very busy. No, was very um, jammed. Jammed, yes, jammed. Jammed. Um, I passed the, this night in Cacao Pera with a friend. And during the Sunday, uh, we went to we went to Torola River. It was a good trip in the in this place because all natural and the river was a crystal was crystal crystal water. Crystal water and it was a good trip really. Um, uh, in the evening. Uh, we come back to San Salvador again. We we pass um, five hours in in the drive in the road, and was a good experience. I like this um, this moment with 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 my friends, and it's possible that uh, they planning another trip. Wow. <laughs> I went, where, where is that? That's Usulután, right? Yes, Paso Usulután and um, uh, San Vicente. Um, Santiago de María. Uh -huh. I went to Torola. I went to Torola, but that was like 15 years ago or something like that. It was a long <laughs> time ago. We fish. We fished and we stayed, we stood, we actually went camping. We went yeah. camping onto this little finca of a friend of us, you know, and, and it was really good. It was really nice. I drank, I drank um, goat milk, goat mm -hmm. milk. That was the only time I ever drank goat milk. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so great job, Carlita good actually the only thing let's see my last weekend was was a very busy when you say my last weekend was a very busy day a very was a very busy day oh uh -huh. okay. i i had a very busy weekend that sounds better i had a very busy weekend but again review the video that sounded good is that little part i was five hours in the traffic I like the way you said it because it was jammed. Remember, uh, remember yeah, one? just remember of the remember the term when you want to say that the traffic was heavy. Uh, traffic jam is the term. Yeah. 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 So okay. then the traffic was very jammed. Jam. Was stuck. Yeah. We were stuck in traffic. Okay. This part I passed this night in Cacao Pera. Better to use I spent. 
Ah, I spent yeah. Uh -huh. I spent the night because you're you're talking about Saturday, so I spent the night. Oh my God, my typing is not good tonight. Okay, I spent the night with okay. some friends, and da, da, da. we went to opera because all natural. It was beautiful because all natural. Mm, it was beautiful, beautiful because because. Uh, how can we say this, guys? Somebody help me. I'm talking too much. How can you say that somebody something is surrounded by nature? Así como usted lo acaba de decir. Come on, guys. Wake up. It's Monday. How else can you say that? It was beautiful because really okay. We were surrounded by nature. Love that amazing word. Amazing view. Amazing. There was an amazing view. Okay. Okay. You could also say like it was all nature. I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah. Okay. The water. Okay. The water was crystal clear. The water was cl crystal clear. Clear. The Americans, gringos, typically use these two words to describe a transparent water. Man, it's crystal clear. Look at this river. It's crystal clear. Crystal clear. <laughs> It's a crystal clear river. We spent five hours again, spent five hours. And the word, everybody, experience. Man, the experience, the experience was beautiful. Okay, Merry Christmas. Wishes, dreams, goals, gifts, hugs, kisses. Okay, let's continue. So that, that's it. I will continue doing this activity. Uh, just throw a random question from time to time and then select some of you to give you feedback. So tomorrow, let's try to have someone different. We we're missing Wilfredo, Nelson, Edwin, Walter, Adriana. Oh, Adriana, did you talk? No, no, right, okay. Uh, Ada Patricia, we're missing Gloria. Wendy and Pamela, who's having some issues with her internet. And I'll take just a minute. Voy a tomar un minuto para regañarlos. Yo sé, no, verdad. Sé que están muy ocupados y todo. Pero por cortesía, conéctense a los grupos cuando los divido. Así porque a veces sus compañeros se quedan cutos ahí, solos, hablando solos. So, that's weird. Y cuando llego están hechos. I don't know who to talk to. Okay, so always do it. Let's go to tonight's topic. With tonight's topic, we have to continue with the um, some sort of part of the previous topic. What do you remember about last class? What do you remember about last class? Okay, so last class uh, was about ethics as well. We have been covering this topic and we're done with it. This coming Wednesday is our, the end of our third week. So tips on how to promote ethics at work. That was the last topic. You were given some examples on how to promote ethics, but now we're gonna talk about the opposite thing, about the bad Thing, you know, which is unethical behaviors. Describe examples of unethical practices at work. Unethical behaviors and unethical practices. Who can give me an example of that? What What is for you an unethical behavior that you have seen in some jobs? Will anybody give me an example of an unethical behavior at your job or in your experience? Mm -hmm. 
Perdón, señores, me escuchan. Hoy estoy hablando muy suave, muy rápido, perdón. Siento que... ¿Me, ¿Sí me escuchan? ¿Ya? Ya, teacher. Ok. So, remember, yeah, estas teacher. clases para que ustedes practiquen. Eh, eso es el goal principal. No puedo pasar solo yo hablando. Sin embargo, sí tengo que hacer una presentación, parte de la clase. Pero en estos siete minutos me gustaría que habláramos. Ok, so, let's talk. What do you consider an unethical practice in, in any job? In any job? Nelson. Okay, teacher. Uh, well, my experience is in the, I said the more people is discriminator uh, any anyone the, the, the people in the in the in the skin the skin the, is, their is skin the, color the skin because color, of yeah. here in El Salvador yes really? yes yes or or the uh, 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 other uh, another um, another in in uh, in other case is discriminated in, in the gender the, the people the is uh, gender yes gender is gender yeah you know, yes an issue is is for me no, it's ethical that's but un it, unethical huh an ethical ethical yes i see uh, in my world i watch this it is thing yeah it happens a lot true yeah about religion too right there are some jobs that ask for christian people you know they go like, oh, we need a Christian teacher. It has happened to me. It has happened to me. I am I know I'm very good at what I do. I love what I do. When I, when I have, when, when I used to look for, for jobs, you know, for projects, teaching English, I always found these jobs at Christian schools and they didn't hire me because I was a Catholic. I'm a Catholic. So I was like, okay. Teacher. Sure. Um, there are many ways of force to unethical behavior, for example, humiliate, humiliating, discrimin uh -huh. humiliate, discriminate, believe, be believe, often, or be intolerant with a, any person is a ways of behavior unethical. Unethical behavior, totally. Yeah. Totally, totally agree. Okay. Can you discriminate someone because he or she is poor? Uh, I am. In, in my case, I I hate this kind of people that discriminate to. Uh, to to a, to a co-worker for any situation uh, for me uh, all all co-workers are the same don't doesn't matter the 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 job the position in the office or in the any place of the office in my house in my um, in my uh, uh, how do you barrio comunidad neighborhood a neighborhood yes sorry it's okay. uh, neighborhood um, and for me all all people are the same we all Excellent. we have in the same position because all are human for this reason all we had the same derechos please. same rights same right yeah yeah because all are humans because we are we all are humans repeat because we all are humans we are, we are, are humans because we are all we are we all are humans we all are humans that's an exception great job esta es la razón por la que yo necesito que ustedes hablen. Excelente, Carla, la felicito. Es bueno trabarse. 
y topar, y a mí me gustó que se quedó, ¿cómo se dice? Y lo trató hasta que ya topó el inglés, va, how do you say best vecindario? A mí me pasa, bichos, a mí me pasa, ya mis 40 años ya, my God, 33 años de estar intentando hablar inglés, todavía tengo ciertos gaps, ¿qué hago? Todo puedo, así como lo acaba de hacer Carla, así cabal. ¿Y qué hago? Pues voy al Google. Yo en mi caso no tengo a alguien cerca, pero. <ríe> o le hablo a mi hermano, ya he llegado a ese extremo de decirle, mira, como dicen esto allá, o cómo se ocupa, o a mi mamá, que están allá. Entonces, so, mientras que no te enfrentes a esta realidad, no, vas a, no te vas a mover. Ahorita, Carlita, ya no se le olvida. ¿Cómo you say vecindario? <ríe> <laughs> se me olvida bueno, bueno relaciono como how do you call the thing of the car where the engine goes hood the hood right okay and how do you call the guy next door hook no how do you call the guy no how do you call the guy next door neighborhood no, i don't know neighbor no. Uh, neighbor. Uh -huh. A neighbor. In neighborhood, teacher. It's, it's, a, it's a compound word. It's a compound word. You have your neighbor and you have the hood of your car. Huh? So, neighborhood. Neighborhood. Vecindario. It's a compound word. <laughs> Palabras oh compuestas. In English, that. that doesn't make sense. Like, how do you say mantequilla in English? Butter. 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 Okay, so no se les olvide el muñequito de South Park. Okay, butter. And and how do you say mosca in English? Fly. Uh, okay. And, uh, how do you say mariposa in English? Butterfly. 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 <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Like basketball. There, are, there's a lot of words that are compound. And think about it, so you can relate things and remember the vocabulary uh, that's the way I, I used to do when I was a kid I was relating things all the time okay let me do the attendance and then I will do a short a brief exposition about today's topic and we have to work together and again please turn on your cameras Ada Patricia Linares Caldames present teacher Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores present Anacelmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Hey, good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. She couldn't connect tonight. Okay, Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Not tonight. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Okay. Good night. Hey, good evening. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Merry Christmas to you, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I saw a video on TikTok. They were they were making like uh this light cords for a tree with um with soda bottles. Soda bottles like Sprite. Um, some color, colored soda, soda bottles, big ones. It was amazing. It was really nice that these handcrafted ideas is is like do it yourself for home decorations. This week I'm I'm decorating the house. We have a chimney that we built last year. It's gonna be a good. Sure. Hey. In my company, um, every uh, for Christmas or or December. Mm -hmm. We decorate all unit or production units. All the all the production units. Yes, but it last year it was so interesting because I I asked for help to uh, um, I have a friend that he is uh, he draw very nice. Then I 
I I told him if, if he can help me Quit. help me uh, making so picture. How do you say uh, Feliz Navidad in other languages? Oh, but, really? Yes. yes, but it is like this one. Uh huh. Mm. He's very creative. Yes. Bon, bon Natale. Bon Natale. Is that Italian? Bon Natale. Yes. That's Italian. Italian. Yes. I don't but... know how, how I do this, but sometimes I'm able to, to identify other languages, you know, like French or yes. German. For example, in... I cannot see it. Yeah. No. French. French? No. Yes. Are you sure that's French? Georgia? Oh, yeah. That's French. Yes. I, I was about to say, like, yeah. <laughs> Ah. Your Yugs Noel. Ah, Yugs yeah. Noel. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Yeah. Okay, guys, let me start uh, the topic tonight. Sorry uh, to cut you off, um, Wilfredo. Let's see. Um, as I was mentioning tonight, we have to talk about unethical practices at work. Unethical practices. Now, when you think about it, remember, we're talking about the values the values that, that you sell as an employer or as an employee, the values that you want to reflect. So what is what are unethical practices? It's really quick. Uh, Walter, can you help me? Yes, teacher. An ethical practice, an action that don't come from to the accepted standard of business operation. Okay, In, actions. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, Walter. Actions that don't conform to the acceptable standards of business operations. In an organization, individuals, groups, the whole organization, you know. This is not just for one, person is goes with uh, the whole organization if one employee doesn't follow um, the ethical guidelines he may be um, incurring in a penalty or, or doing something that is wrong for the whole company unethical practices we're going to talk about specifically about employers so from the employer's perspective creating a split in union leaders what do you think about this? Creating split in union leaders is like, what is it? It's like competition. But in a negative, mm. in a negative way. Yeah. An example? No, in the organization, for example, and our medical practices can, could be, or maybe create a di division, how do you say in English? Division, split. Division. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, splitting, splitting uh, uh, the union between supervisors. And yeah, go ahead. Is that what you, you're saying, Wilfredo? Yes, um, I'm going to try to, to, to finish my, my, my idea. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when for example, when the so managers, maybe they they have a an un, un, unethical values. For example, always the people um, I I I have a I had a training two months ago, mm -hmm. but um, el, the teacher, the trainer. That, the trainer. the trainer the trainer told us um when a people abandon abandon abandonate abandoned abandon the company they don't abandon the company they abandon your uh, our bosses true true that's true yeah because in the end uh, you're leaving behind co-workers opportunities i mean there's a lot of things involved on leaving leaving your job but if you're pursuing a dream i mean <laughs> that's okay right okay yeah i think i guess yeah 
Now, creating a split in the union leaders is like creating bad um, or unethical practices between leaders, which is like a bad or an unhealthy competition where even lying is allowed. Okay, unethical practices of employers. Again, employers should do the, the opposite, you know, they should resolve conflicts not to start one or create more conflict between leaders specifically, they must resolve. I like this idea of, uh, I don't know if where you live, the town halls, town halls have this department of conflict resolution. Have you heard of that? The conflict resolution department of the town hall, the alcaldías? Okay, right. town halls, alcaldías, they have this department where if Don Pedro stolen a chicken, a pollo, or a hen, a gallina, from you, instead of you going to the police, you can go to the town hall and citate Don Pedro, right? And go like, listen, Don Pedro took a chicken from me. And I want it back. And Don Pedro will go like, no, the chicken is mine. It was in my property. Oh, and then the town hall helps to resolve the conflict. So it's the same, you know, it's the same. Uh, employers should give importance to the conflict resolution. Don't create more bias. Can somebody tell me what's the meaning of bias? A synonym of bias? It's a gap. It's a gap, okay. Just a gap? Come on, Google it. A gap. Prejudice. Hello, good evening. Hello. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> okay, you, you scared me. Oh my God. Okay. It's a conflict. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Uh -huh. Think, think, think. A beautiful Spanish. Yes. <laughs> That's the meaning. So it's not a conflict, it's not a solution, it's the gap in between. Okay, where you cannot be on either side. So, for example, a judge, a jury, a judge or a jury, they cannot be on either side of the story. They just listen, and at the end, they give a verdict. Now, look at the pictures. Can somebody describe the first picture, the two kids and the two drawings? The guy that is in the middle between the two pictures, it's uh, selecting which is the the best one. But with his fingers, he it's like <laughs> I don't know, like being with the, his fingers crossed. Uh, with his fingers crossed. Maybe, maybe because he's lying that he's saying that the the one that is bald, the guy he's bald, he has no hair. Oh, uh, it's true. Uh. <laughs> He's bold too. I didn't notice before. <laughs> oh my God. So, oh, because you're bold, you you like me. You're a nice person. So yes, your picture is a bit. Wow. Yeah. Does that does that happen in the real world? Of course, it happens a lot. If you're a parent, if you're a parent and you have but at least I... two children. Mm, yeah, because between my drafts from my. 11th daughter to the one has three the other one has three probably my other daughter has best drops better know? better drawing but but drawing, will, uh -huh. will you tell her in front of him oh my god that is difficult and you will go like the picture don't lie <laughs> <laughs> you will go like oh no. yeah maybe you, your drawing is so beautiful and uh, then you will go with your girl like yeah uh, and how do you call that? I was going to tell you. 
<laughs> to, to be with your eyes like this or your eyebrow like no yeah you can do it with your eyebrow oh. yeah eyebrow closed <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's just your heart right in that in that example okay let's see <laughs> what's going on in the third picture the birds somebody else thank you Edwin. that was good what about the third picture what's what's not right on the third picture Imagine maybe the two birds are the two birds are the the songs of the but he he lead, lead no it's given or feeding no yeah he feeding only one and he is how do you say lead on how do you say piece of theater uh huh how do you say piece of theater oh my God. step on Oh, step on! Oh, the bird step on the head, the head of the another baby bird. <laughs> oh, the baby bird! You got it, baby bird. Yes. Yeah. And look at his face. I mean, it's like, yeah, okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And you know what? That's funny. When mm -hmm. when that happens to to kids who are second or third sons. You know, they're in the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth position. When these things happen to them, they get used to it and they go like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's like dad comes to the house with a chocolate, just one chocolate. And he goes like, yeah, it's not for me. It's for my oldest brother. I know. <laughs> so from time, sometimes, that's my advice. From time to time. Sometimes happen, teacher, because... Yeah. Uh, sometimes it happened because <laughs> when I go out with my daughter, mm -hmm. she enjoy everything. And my boy, he's at home and he doesn't, he doesn't go with, with us and he doesn't enjoy. And all the time I tell, I tell to my daughter, mm -mm, no, this is for your brother because you are enjoying here and he's at home. <laughs> That's right. Do you know? It's a, it's a curse. It is a curse for the curse of the firstborn. <laughs> it's on the Bible. It's everywhere in history, in human yeah. history. The, the, is the curse of the firstborn. As fathers, as parents, we want the best for our first birth, our firstborn. And every other kid, you already practice, you already pampered you already how do you say wait wait wait, wait. I, I, this, this is a good word uh you're gonna oh when you spoiled you already spoiled your firstborn you know what's the meaning of spoil if you don't google it okay spoil. yeah you already spoiled your firstborn so once you have spoiled your firstborn the second or the third kid falls on the floor and you go like, yeah, <laughs> yeah wake up, stand up, stand up, come on, stand up. It happened, teacher, it happened. My daughter, when was two years, he put inside her nose a bowl. And my mother, my mother called me, my, the girl, I don't know. And I run away from the, from my work and, oh my God, what I do? I go to the doctor. Well, everything happened. When my kid was three years, the same thing. My mother called me, oh, I'll wait, wait, I yeah, arrived. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we, we went through this, remember? Yeah. yeah, okay, you know what to do, right? Yeah, sure. Take, take it easy, okay. I, okay. I know I know what I, what I, I have to do. <laughs> yeah, so you gain, yeah. you gain experience, thank you. You gain experience <laughs> by spoiling things. Yes. Pay attention. You gain experience by spoiling things. Yeah, is women as well first husband? Oh no, let's not go there. Let's not <laughs> talk about that. Okay, and then you get divorced. The second one is better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so an ethical practices uh, of employers continuing. I love this this picture. Employers should avoid bias and practice fairness and give equal you know equal rights for everybody as somebody was saying look at the picture equality doesn't mean justice 
So on the left side, you say, this is equality. Why is that? Wilfredo, come on, you're so quiet. Why is that equality? Why? Um, excuse me, excuse me. Employees should avoid mm. BS in practice or. Mm -hmm. No, then don't focus on the reading, on the lecturing. You just look at the picture. Equality, yeah. equality doesn't mean justice. So on the left, you have equality, which is igualdad, right? Igualdad. Why is that equality? Uh huh. Um. I, I don't know, teacher, how I can explain you. Oh, um, come for, on, for, come on, you can do the it. The same and opportunity, that. the same benefit. Okay. Yes. It, 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 this is the, the, lo, lo, lo ideal. The ideal, do you think? The, the ideal. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's equality because the, the three are in the same place. Hmm. Yes. Maybe because. for that it is equality. <laughs> Let's talk about justice. So because you can get one. you can you can get the whole picture. Look. Yes, Look. it's justice because the three are in the in the same position. Look in the <laughs> oh the same position. Talking about the edge of the fence. Talking about the edge of the fence. If you notice, I didn't notice at first, but the first guy in blue on the left, he's taller. He's yes. the tallest. It's like oh, rich people, for example. He need he need two boxes to, to watch. He doesn't need two boxes to a box to watch. He can reach, he can reach the edge of the fence. But this little guy, I mean, wow, right? Now they are all at the edge of the fence. So it's, it's a very now the picture is clearer, right? Now can somebody? This is just, uh, it's just uh, it's, it's, uh, how, how do you, the, the, the correct word teacher? He just is in the second picture. Yeah, that's just as because the first one doesn't need the box, yes. but the third one urges, he urged the and, box. And the, and the next weekend, Sunday is going to, to be necessary, this, this one teacher. Why? Porque el facito va a ganar. <laughs> <laughs> my god it's true yeah I mean, they're gonna win for sure yes. i don't know who's the other team to, to be honest with you i never heard of them but <laughs> but <laughs> but we never heard of nuevas ideas too right the same oh okay let's continue with the class so <laughs> no really i mean sometimes weird things happen i mean you don't expect some results and look so fast could win, definitely. They must win. That's what one will say, right? But if they are too comfy, you know, too confident, the result could vary. I mean, that could happen. Who knows? For example, teacher, um, in my opinion, is mm -hmm. um example of uh, just the condition just this condition mm -hmm. when the facilities in the company mm -hmm. um, is possible that the people with wheelchairs yes for example wheelchair wheelchairs wheelchairs mm -mm. wheelchair wheelchair yes mm -hmm. wheelchair mm -hmm. yes wheelchair um in in my opinion this is is a a condition it's necessary to to work for work similar for work in the similar condition for the the rest of the employees totally actually the ministry of employment here in el salvador is reinforcing that value you know it was demanding companies to have ramps 
to have elevators if they have more than one floor for people with disabilities to have easy access to all the facilities. Totally, that, that's totally true. And I admire that, I love that. Some, some people in wheelchair work better than some people who is okay, you know, sometimes. Okay, continuing. Child labor, we talked about this, remember? Maybe in our country, you know what? In our country, this is not a common practice, I will say. I haven't seen any more children, maybe in the streets, for sure. I mean, but they're with their parents. They are with their parents. When I was in, in the university, I read a book. I can't remember who, who was a writer, but it was about Miguel. It, it narrated the, the story of Miguel, how Miguel got to the streets and how Miguel went out of the streets. That was a great book. I can remember it, how, how it happened. But what, it was, what was very remarkable is that this kid grew up on the streets sleeping on the streets and he narrates his story you know how it happened so there are many success stories uh, from children in the street um, employers should avoid child labor for children should be studying not working and i think that's very important right uh, have you seen any children working in any of your previous jobs or have you heard about any 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 company here in El Salvador hiring? Before in the supermarket, teacher. Oh my God, it's true. It is How true. Have you seen when when on light. Okay. The traffic yeah. light. Mm -hmm. The traffic light. Uh, I see many childs. Many children. Mm -hmm. Many children selling. Uh, but it's, uh, but that is the, that is illegal. I, I saw a lot of children still uh, selling candy or whatever in, on the streets. But actually, in a in a legal company, it doesn't. This is not allowed, you know, because it's illegal to put a uh, child under the age to work. Mm -hmm. Children so, uh, under age. And super, yeah, and super supermarkets. There is an age. I think uh, uh, around sixteen. They can work as empacadores, mm -hmm. but they can work uh, between uh, from January to to October when the, the when the class classes finish. Then mm -hmm. they can work on um, November and December. Is not a temporal job? Is a temp a I'm sorry, job. it is a temporal job. Yeah, yes, I, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, yeah, Susana, would you like to finish your idea? Sorry. That's okay, teacher. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Something to say about I thought that Susanna was going to talk about it, but yeah, the stoplights or traffic lights, there's always someone asking for money in our country. Um, the most populated traffic lights are always crowded with children, and, and it's something usual, right? I think, um, what's the name of this, this place? this governmental institution who takes care of Cona. children is the Kona. the Kona, right the Kona. yes but they have another name what was it the lepina love t-shirt there's a the lepina, lepina law 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 the lepina law there is another one manos amigas too isna Isna, uh, yes. Isna. Mm -hmm. Isna, they, yes. they, 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 and the Kona, as, as Susana said, they, they have the right of taking the kids, right? They can take the kids, right? Yes. From the streets. From the, from their parents. Man, it's so difficult. But anyways, you know, these, these kids actually grow up to be smart people if they are given the opportunity. Teacher, but it's a cycle. The... Yes. I don't say that. Oh, the movie. Life is a cycle, you know. No. <laughs> don't you remember Adam Sandler? <laughs> I declare you Larry and <laughs> this is not yeah. my point, teacher. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, life is like a circle, you know. No. Near 
at my office. Uh -huh. um, I remember that the uh, girl, the a family, mm -hmm. the the grandmother, now, mm -hmm. uh, she how do you say? He gives money. No, no. she ask. used to ask for money. Yes, she used to ask for money, mm -hmm. grandmother. Mm -hmm. And after, a, a, her daughter. Her daughter, and after, a, her son. Son, yes. Wow. So it was a yes, chain. It's not, that's not that's not a circle. That that's uh, in the turn the the fifteen years, the old family. This is the the practice. Uh huh. They so, used to uh -huh. ask for money. Uh, ask for money on the same corner, the same place. Yeah. Fifteen years. For fifteen years, yeah. Are they still asking for money? Yeah. Oh my God, a whole generation, right? That's generation. insane. Okay. And, and uh, they shame their clothes mm -hmm. in the end. At the end of the shift. <laughs> after the shift. shift, you know, the, the, the horario, right? After the shift. Yes, I used to change. They used to yes. change clothes. Change and, clothes. Yeah. Oh my God. And now, mm -hmm. uh, the they have a cell phone in the yes Man, the, that's so ironic how how yes, can somebody oh my god i know i have seen that in, in mercado central you know downtown i see that people selling coins selling metals and they're with iphones and i'm like well you better not judge Okay, let's go to the next topic, physical abuse. Have you ever had a very bossy boss do this? Why are you late? Screaming, yelling from one side of the office to the, the other. Have you been there? No, thank God. That, that's terrible. I mean, your boss yelling in front of everybody. This happens in El Salvador on PIMES, on small and medium businesses. It's like a common practice, you know, a very, and this, this goes along with this, with abuse, physical, I'm sorry, psychological abuse, uh, physical abuse sometimes. But in previous years, this was not penalized by the law in El Salvador. Now, <laughs> now, if something like this happens, you go to jail. Totally. I heard the news of uh, this woman who, who was a, a waitress at a restaurant, and she got pregnant, and the owner of the restaurant let her go. Did you see the news on TikTok, Twitter or something? No? Teacher, I I have uh, a friend, and mm -hmm. she was work, work, working working in in a hotel in um uh, Cerro Verde. I don't know this is from. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she say me that. Uh, well, well, she in, told me. She told me that uh, in her her chief. Uh, I don't know how, how do you say, how do you say cachetada? Um, slap. Slap. slap yes. Uh, he. Uh, um, slap her face. When when uh, she uh, uh, cometer, I don't know how do you say cometia. He used to do this. Ah, uh, yes, I'm wrong. And when the 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 so, so this used to be a common practice for her boss. Yes. To, she used to slap her. Wow. The the last the last year. What did she quit? Yes. 
Yes, and, and, and she, she decided to, to final the, the contract. To finish the contract. She, she, she resigned, she quit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. But but she could have demand, you know, this this man. I mean, he, she could have sued. She could have sued this this employer, right? Anna Selmi? Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Um, this oh, yes. this lady could have sued this this employer, right? The sue. Demandar? Demand, yeah. Demand, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's possible, teacher, now. Mm -hmm. yeah, she could have sued him. Last year, still, I mean, she shouldn't have weighed that. I mean, she, you know, women, women in El Salvador are very well protected in many senses. In many senses, uh, nowadays, um, if you do something to a woman or you say something to a woman, like, Sexual abuse. But it's a strength to teacher. Yes. Is? Is? Extreme. It's the extreme. Yes. It's, it's the extreme. extreme. Well, mm -hmm. you know what? Times have changed. If you remember last topic, last module, we were talking about uh, how our generation has changed. And now is the opposite as well. Now is the opposite. I mean, wow. This could happen in any sense nowadays. And it's not just for women. It happens with men too. From man to man, that's terrible. Yeah. We live in a weird society yeah, nowadays. Right. So that's basically it. Let me go forward and just skip this commercial. There we go. So unethical practices continuing with this longer and inflexible working hours. Have you been asked to stay working after hours? Have you been asked to stay working on a holiday? Man, we need your cooperation. You should stay working. Just five more hours, Susana. Don't worry. This is going to be just five hours. I know today is, is Viernes Santo, but come on. Support your company. Teacher, the Japanese dad the, for, for working more time. Wait, they ask they are bad? Yes, uh, uh, they are. Uh, they have uh, much time in the work and die for for uh, for excess I, excess of work. Excess, yes. Wow. He he don't sleep. They don't or sleep. Mm -hmm. sleep in the sea in in uh, it is saying a uh, sea bear maybe I don't know what what is the name. But it's the same as Cyber in Japan, and and they sleep here. I lost the last idea you said, but I think I got it. I mean, Japanese are used to work a lot of hours. Yeah. Okay. And here, actually, here they make you work sometimes, especially on factories. On factories, if they need a lot of, they have a lot of work, uh, they will ask employees to stay. And even if they pay you, you know, if you don't, if you say no all the time, because it's your right, eventually they get tired of you and they go like, you know what, we don't need you anymore. I'm so sorry. And they let you go if you don't work extra hours. Um, I'm telling you this from first hand. I have I know this from first hand. Okay. Have you heard that expression? I know this from first hand. No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No sé primera mano, right? Sounds very literal. Okay. So yeah, we are exploded in many senses in many jobs. The the consequences teacher is the syndrome, the burn off. Burn? Burn oh, out. Bur burn out. Yes, yeah. the burn yeah. out. Employees get burned out and then you run out of employees. That's, that's, oh my God. And there's a, 
syndicate. Yeah, there's an association of employees who are never happy as well, and that's a different story. Let's see, employers should follow regulations regarding extra hours of work, and especially regarding breaks during working hours. Do you have breaks at work, or is it just going to work, then your lunch time, and then out, and that's it? Yep. Do you feel like working a lot every day? My company is not, is different for personal in plant mm -hmm. and administrative personal is different. In my oh. case, I, I don't, I oh, don't oh. have, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't yeah. have. Go ahead, Susana. Working hours. I don't have. A schedule. Extra. Yes, I don't have. Yes, a schedule. I don't have it. I don't have. And we don't receive um, overtime. You can stay, but they don't pay for this time. You know, I read the book, I mentioned it before, Eat That Frog, try as a sample. And it said that <laughs> an employee, uh -huh. an employee who doesn't finish its job in the working hours schedule is not a good employee. If you stay working after your hour to go home, you're not a good employee. You are not efficient. So in the case of Japanese, I thought differently, you know, maybe it's the Chinese, I don't know. But these guys, uh, they see it as an on a problem of organization, you know, you have a problem with getting organized with your activities. So it's a negative thing to work extra hours in administration, of course. <laughs> when you talk about production, oh my God, it's a whole different story, right? And now, teacher, the main reason because the employees. Eh, the main reason why? Why the employees. Eh, what do you say? Get sick or leave? No, leave mm -hmm. of the company mm -hmm. is for the uh, hard work because there are a lot of hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. The amount and of hours are not respected. Uh huh. The, the specific schedule. But now the in the key indicator performance mm -hmm. for the managers include the manage, management of the schedule for the for the teamwork. Totally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Du Bois, Du Bois, and disputed. Du Bois, Dudoso. Doubtful. That's another way of saying it. Why did I say doubtful? Doubtful is another way of saying it. And disputed hiring practice. This is the trend of small and medium businesses in El Salvador. Uh, government sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. And yes, nepotism. Nepotism is everywhere everywhere i mean and but you know i i'm a, i'm okay with nepotism in some in some way because if you have a company if you have your own company wouldn't you like your kids to work there someday i mean just let them work but of course prepare them right let them go to the university prepare to run the business because someday they, they will have to run the business. Look at this picture, meet the boss, son. The go-to guy, oh, hold on, the go-to guy, whenever you need a piece of string or just a friendly wave. Okay, can somebody try to translate that sentence? I just love the, the way it says, meet the boss's son. 
the go-to guy whenever you need a piece of string or just a friendly wave. Don't go to Google Translate, just try it. Hmm. What's different? What's difficult? Maybe the meet boss sounds. That's easy. Conozcan al hijo del jefe. Uh huh. Conoce al hijo del jefe. Al jefe. Uh -huh. the, the good guy whenever you need a piece of string. El chico <laughs> que lo que necesita cuando hmm. necesites. Whenever. Mm. Whenever you need a piece of string. This, this example, thank you, the go-to. Uh -huh. The go-to guy. The, the go-to guy. guy. It's like the one you need to go to. It's like um que necesitas no no hmm. go to guy hmm. el a quien acudir donde acudes mm -hmm. where you must go right where you must go whenever you need a piece of string y ese es el punto ese where you <laughs> must go es sería el where where you must go es donde debes ir pero como no es un lugar sino es una persona mm -hmm. The go to place, the go to guy. Mm -hmm. It's like he's the one. He's the one who has what you need. That's the go to guy. In a, in a few words. <laughs> in a few words. Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember the name of the movie in Spanish. Uh, freedom, freedom, freedom. Morgan Freeman. Morgan mm. Freeman, this jail, this prison movie, Andre Buffet, Andre Buffet, who escaped from, from the jail, from, from prison. No, I can't remember the name of it. Mandela? No, no, no. No. Something else. I can't remember the name of the movie, but the thing is that um, Morgan Freeman plays the the role ah, of the, the, Shawn, the Shawn 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 Redemption. Shawn Shawn the Redemption. Redemption, yes. Yeah. With Tim, Tim Robinson. Mm -hmm. Tim Robinson and Morgan yeah. Freeman. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of, in Spanish. If you know it, just yeah. say it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you know it, just say it because it's very important. I mean, it, it gives a beautiful message. But the thing is yeah. that Morgan Freeman plays that role. He was the go-to guy. He was the go-to oh. guy if you needed cigarettes, if you needed yeah. mm -hmm. whatever thing, you know. Yeah. Just thought about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So nepotism, it happens everywhere. Negative, yeah. Yeah, it's very negative for the poor employees, but not for the owner who has worked all his life to build his empire, and now he wants his son to work in the company. Why not? Right? That was meant to be. Continuing, I'm sorry that nepotism was not enough to make you successful in a position for which you were never really qualified. Thinking about this paragraph, um, I know some people, you know, that has worked for a company, let's say, for 19 years, 20 years, and suddenly, oh, this is. This is my son and he's gonna be your boss now. He just graduated. He just graduated from the university with a master degree. He studied a lot. And you have a doctorate and you have worked in the company for 20 years. And, and they go like, you know what? You have to train him. He just graduated from his master but you have to train him on the company because he's gonna run the company now. Okay, <laughs> fine, <laughs> why not? 
that's that's amazing. It it, it does it does happen. Okay. This is the irony of the life teacher. Yeah, that's the irony. Yeah, the irony, irony. of life. Irony. That's of right. Life. I'm gonna finish with this image, and I truly believe that there has to be equal pay, equal work, equal value for everybody, no matter if you're a man or women. You know. It's okay. Um, you have you have the same rights um, as everybody. We are all the same. That's for sure. No matter your ethnicity, whatever you come from, you know, it's gonna be that way. So briefly, um, we're just gonna have a conversation. There's not much time. We have ten minutes. What's the conversation about? Just tell your classmates since we have to. Um, board, let's say, or we have to talk about unethical practices at work, give your own experiences, okay? What has happened in your job? What have you seen? What have you heard? What have you heard that happened in X company, you know, that they closed, for example? There was a company that closed like two years ago and they had to let go all their employees due to the pandemic. I guess you know, right? Yep, yep. I don't remember the name of the company, but it was a, it was a big company going to El Puerto, if I remember. And they just closed their operations and they couldn't continue. So but they didn't pay their employees when they let them go. So all of these topics, just talk to your classmates if they have any experiences. And what was the unethical part on this behavior, okay? What was unethical on this situation? Questions? Questions? No questions? Okay, cool. Let's go and have a conversation about today's topic. We only have eight minutes. Let's go. We have, we have um, unethical uh, behavior, and uh, because we have um, nepotems, nepotism, nepotism, nepotism. Because um, um, the store uh, of general manager of uh, um, of a uh, general manager, um, he worked in the company, and and in the work uh, in this moment uh, as long is a manager uh, uh, in this decision only only um, only for uh, the father mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, uh, I work with him uh, because he's very careful and uh, for for the same for me. Um, and this is an example uh, on ethical behavior. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. In the in yes. the in the same company, yes, but in other in no, other department, uh -huh. in yeah. other area, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Yes. It, it's okay because there is not the, in the same conflict. Department conflict of interest in interest conflict and interest know. Conflict. yes interest conflict. Uh -huh. but i guess in my in my example yeah wow it's difficult because uh, when they uh, stay uh, uh -huh. when they argued ah yes Activities is the more difficult. Argue. But mm -hmm. argue teacher is mm -hmm. not only a discuss discussion without fists. Hungry, uh, maybe you know how. Yeah, you're you're angry, they're upset mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they are it's upset argue. with each other. Yeah, you, you can argue with someone and don't fight, you know, don't go don't use your fists, your fists. Just, Maybe is the is the angry is the couple when the couple yeah you can well you argue all the time with your coworkers too but yeah in couples it's it's more common. Hmm. It's argue or discussion. You had a discussion. We just had a discussion. We were arguing about da 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 da. da. Is there's there synonyms? Yeah. Yes, for me, it's synonyms. But, well, well, uh, no, actually, argue is yeah. a verb, and discussion, discuss, discuss um, is a verb too. too. That's a verb too. Yes, it's a verb we too. discuss all the time. We argue all the time. I understand mm. too uh, mm -hmm. that argue is different. The 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 level of the discussion actually no for me for me it's the same i mean for me I, it's, I, it's just a verbal it's a conversation a strong conversation a difficult conversation mm, yeah and then you have the fight yeah yeah no okay. yeah then you get upset between each other yeah <laughs> Okay. Okay, continue, continue. Yes. I remember an unethical, unethical situation uh, when I was working for a company, communication company. And oh, that's the in oh my God. When the when the cell phone was C D C D A. CDMI, CD, oh my God, CDMI. Yeah, when there isn't the the telephones working without a ship, a ship, uh huh, uh, a sinker. Yeah. Uh, uh, the 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 cell phone is a, a key, a key to unblock. And I I I know I know. New, no, oh my god! <laughs> I know about uh, a, a, I don't don't remember how many people what, but they sell the kids in five dollars. Imagine they have money; they made money uh, selling to another people out of the company the kids to unblock the sales, and they 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 buy uh, a lot of cell phones they uh, the other the personnel inside the company uh, sell the keys and these people uh, my god they oh my god they take the cell phones to another country in that case honduras i remember it was uh, maybe yeah. It was uh, a very difficult for me. It was a, a, a scam, a uh, fraud. Yeah, a fraud. A fraud. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was very, I was very um, 
shocked. Worried. 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 Mm -hmm. Worried. Because I I have access to this 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 mm, this, this information. This yeah, this information. And uh, one one time they called to me and they made me many questions about this. But uh, thanks God the the system uh, has a a bitácora. Mm, and when yeah. you get in, when you when uh -huh. you get into and, cons and and make a a consult consult consulta, uh, your name was in the bitácora. Thanks God, my name it was in there. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine uh, it's it was very. Oh my God, it was very. I don't know. Concerning. So many, yes, Concerning. I don't know. In that in that case, many people can do frauds with with this with these things. Uh, the system sometimes uh, um, Tonight, Sunday, bloody Sunday. Okay. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm staying for 10 minutes with Mr. Guardado Rivera. That's an issue with gringos. They go like, hey. the, the more, hey. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like, how, how Chente used to go. Have you seen the, the series in, on Netflix? The vida de Chente, no? No. Hey. 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 They didn't say I, yes or, or see, no? Like, I hardly ever see series. Hey. Lately, I was, <laughs> I, I was watching uh -huh. uh, parejas asesina couples, killer, killer couple, but it is so interesting investigation. Really? Oh, on is that like Universal or something? Yes. Is there, yeah. Yes. Uh huh. But uh, it's, it's so interesting. We're we're but, gonna we're gonna talk about that right now for for ten uh, minutes. <laughs> okay. I'll be I'll be all ears in just a second. Okay, okay guys. Hey, don't forget to uh, move on with your platform. Thank you for the ones that are working on the platform already. Remember, you can move on when as much as you want. Uh, we're only missing about two weeks and something, so and then we go to Christmas, so do it, do it. Good night, and please have some rest. Ana Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Okay, I, thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present, good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present, good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Here. Good, good night. night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, good night, teacher. Good night. Kenia Michelle Arasayas, Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina, Proselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good bye. night. Bye.
Okay, so yeah. Okay, nice, nice let's series. do it. Nice series. I, I used to watch Law and Order. The Law and Order. Da, 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 da. That was a great. You repeat this phrase? What? Uh, lower orders or, or, or the law and order the law law and order uh -huh. yeah it's just that yeah that's a common issue you know how do you how do you read that i'm sorry uh law uh -huh. law, law and order and yeah, you say laws laws law laws law laws yeah the law and order yeah the, the the sound you know of the of the series the opening was in my head all the time da, 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 da. <laughs> in the saxo and that was the um law and order uve unit of yes, Ukraine. special victims yeah that was good yes it is interesting i i, I remember uh, many many years ago when the, the the series start to 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 get uh, 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 how do you say when empezó when they started uh, getting interesting or yeah interesting mm -hmm. get get on interesting i i remember uh, law and law and order another another series good, good series oh but you're talking about crime like csi series yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and doctor Dr. House. Dr. House. Yeah. That, hey, there's a new one and I haven't watched it because it's only on Warner and the Warner app has nothing to watch. Is um The Good Doctor? Ah, yes. The Good Doctor is a, is a kid. That uh, For me, that's like a remake, a little bit of a remake of Dougie Hauser. Yeah, Dougie Hauser Medical. <laughs> Man, and, that, and do you, and do you remember an, an old old series, Doctor Queen? Doctor la, Queen, la mujer que cura. It is old. Wait, old wait, 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 Doctor Queen. I, I do remember that. It's, it's like chicken soup for the soul. It is like a, a, in a, a talking a talking about Ash. Um, I, I don't I don't remember Lucas McKay, but it is like a, a the same the same age. Doctor uh, Queen. Doctor Queen is really old, yeah. Yes, yes. You know what movie I found on Disney, on the Disney app, and I, I just remembered I watched it when I was a very a very small kid. It's called. Um, in Spanish, El Cuarto de Seo. But in English, it, it has an, a different name. You know who plays in that movie? Who acts in that movie? Is, uh, I was like, I have seen this guy. It was the one of the originals, James Bond. Uh, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. The, the movie is from 1950-something, 50 52. And it, it tells about uh, the, the little dwarfs and of Ireland. You know, so look, go look for it. If, if you have kids, you know, we have seen it three times already with my wife, with my mother-in-law, because it's a nice tale. It is a nice tale. So I remember an, a scene where death, death approaches the an, an old man. And then here comes a, a um, an old car, you know, with the horses and everything. And, and they take the men onto the car so if you have the time look for it it's, it's called el puerto de Sabra. i can't remember the name in okay. in in it's older than the princess bride el de la princesa, you remember yes yeah that's older than that it's a nice and, movie and what kind of uh series do you like to see teacher or do you like to the, watch what i like to watch watch uh -huh, is uh most of all uh, sci-fi science fiction I watched the last one I, I really, really watched was the the 100 on Netflix. Yeah. And now that I'm watching Family Guy again, which I, I like black humor, you know, American black humor. Okay. 
But it is interesting because I I try to 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 watch. Um, I don't know. Only on on weekend I try to see some series. But then, for example, now my children they they went to to now they are playing soccer. But they always told me, hey, Daddy, Daddy, do, do you want to go with us? And I, I feel so so tired after classes. But then I start to, to check my cell phone or, or, or checking, checking, for example, TikTok or, or, or videos and face. But lately I, I start to, to watch this, this series because it is, man, it is crazy men or crazy women how they they can kill another people how, how they... old how old are you excuse me how old are you i'm 40 how old are you ah i'm 46 years 46 years old so you're in the yes. stage of killing your wife you're thinking about killing your wife so <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a stage man it's common it's normal you're wondering how your life will be without your wife. It is a psychological thing. I saw that on a movie with Cameron Diaz. The name, the name of the movie is, or, or porn video in English, that's the name of the movie, it's a marriage, and they record themselves, you know, and by accident, they send the video to their friends. And then, yeah, and then they start recovering all of the copies. They go to their houses, <laughs> you know, it's crazy. It's really, so you should watch that movie. But the thing is that there's a point where she asks him, have you ever considered killing me? Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he goes like, yes. <laughs> and you, how oh, dare you? No, nah, come on. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I have. How will you kill me? And then they start talking about that. How will you kill me? I don't know. Maybe with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> That's teacher, so funny. In, in the United States, I guess that the the problem could be when the people get some. How do you say seguros? Seguros de vida. Insurance. Yeah. Insurance. Because uh, I I I don't remember, but the, but the last three or four. And, and it, it was uh, about this. The three or four episodes? Yes. Was about killing the wife or the husband because of the yes. insurance. Because a good insurance, for example, the last, I remember that the, the woman, the woman paid to another man to kill that her her husband. husband. Yeah, they... Um, I don't remember, but enterrado in el jardín. I don't remember. She um, she burned him on the born, yard. Burned in the yard. Wow. Yes. And they 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 built a, a like a, a. Oh, I saw that. I saw that ah the, uh, that extra of that series. I remember. I know what what series you're watching. It, it's underneath a little cabin. Some sort of cabin, una glorieta. I can't remember how to say that. Yeah, right. And then yeah. this woman, this police woman, comes and they lift it up and they find the body buried. Yes. Man, that's crazy. They don't. They are not creative. Did you watch uh, Breaking Bad? I I I hear about that, but I I didn't. Right. Didn't watch. You should watch Breaking Bad if you like crime. Man, they he has the perfect way of get getting rid of a body do you use acid if you want to get rid of a body i'm sorry get rid get rid i think it's yeah. without the yeah get rid get rid of the body to get rid of something you use acid you <laughs> but i mean it is this phrase get rid this hacerse de algo to get rid of to get uh -huh. rid of yeah, but they they use all imagine imagine about that because they invent <laughs> many like way to, many to ways to get real. Yes, but it is so interesting. But hey, I I I I don't remember. Two weeks ago, I I watched a, a episode a, a episode. How do you say? An episode. An episode about a man that is a serial killer. 
de eh, a, eh, empezaron a hacer el, 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 la, la, esta, la trilogía de, de Anthony Hopkins, El silencio de los inocentes, uh -huh. Aníbal, Hannibal. Y el dragón Rock. Aníbal. Oh, Aníbal Lester. <risa> Aníbal es Aníbal. <risa> Aníbal. Aníbal Lester. <risa> Aníbal es el vecino. Okay, Wilfred. Hey, nice talking to you. This is a nice topic. We we will okay. continue about that. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Rest a lot. Same to you.